Sometimes I ask them, uh... No way. A serial killer calls a popular radio show. Why were there so many fucking serial killers back in the day? If they think it's dangerous doing what they're doing, if they're worried about things, and they'll laugh it off, and that just pisses me off. Right. It was easier to do. Wait, is this Howard Stern? Shut the fuck up. And then you go ahead and you kill him. This is not Howard yeah. Stern. What? Back in the day, no security camera. Yeah, no iPhones, no cameras. You're right, bro. Like, that is fucking insane. No iPhones, no cameras. Like, that is crazy, bro. You're not wrong. That is something really insane to think about. Like, that is fucking insane, not gonna lie. Nowadays, bro, people can't get away with fucking murder. Get caught up easily, which is good. It's really good. Nowadays, bro, shit. DNA, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That shit's next level. <sighs> you, 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 you wouldn't even, yeah, that shit's fucked. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. Of course I do. Oh, I'll play this video real quick for y'all. But dying for us to save our souls. And if you say and believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, then you will be saved. 214 million homes had to hear that. It may not mean nothing to y'all. This that last one, baby. Thank you. Make some noise for Drake up in this. Sir. It's her name, she the one for me. First name greatest, like a spring ankle boy. Ain't nothing to play with. I started off local, but they saw the haters. I know cheap for pilots. You guys remember Los walked out of this shit? <laughs> Such an idiot. Howard Stern show was a popular. Yeah, of course. You guys know about Howard Stern, of course. Wait, wait, this is ass. Okay, I can just read to you guys. Okay, the Howard Stern, okay, hold on. But on the morning of August 13th, 1997, listeners were left feeling disturbed when a man wanted to go by the name of Clay called in the Howard Stern Show. <laughs> Clay admits to having killed more than 12 prostitutes in the New Orleans area. Doubtful about the whole thing, Howard and his co-host Robin begin to ask Clay a series of questions. The original audio is 17 minutes long. All right, I got a guy on the phone who claims he's been killing prostitutes and he's wondering why he's doing it. Oh, God. This so is maybe, real, uh, chat. He thinks I have an answer. Is this Ed? Ed? No, this isn't Ed. No. You haven't killed any prostitutes? No, I never said my name was Ed. Oh. Oh. Sorry. That's yeah, okay. What's your What name do you use? You can call me Clay. Clay? Clay? <laughs> yes, Clay. Okay, Clay. So what happened? How many prostitutes have you killed? Twelve. And you're wondering why you do it? I have a pretty good idea. Why? Did your mom beat you? Did your mom spank you? Did, uh... Was your mom a prostitute? No. Actually, nothing like that. What is it, then? I think I just do it for the sense of the power. Right. Do you have sex with them first? Yes, and... And then what, you strangle them? Once. How else did you kill them? Well, a few times, actually, most times with a hammer. Hmm. What the fuck? And where do you do this primarily? You sweater god, y'all weird. Uh, I've done it twice in a parking garage, and then the rest of the time's on the side of the road. And uh, you're from the New Orleans area? Yes. Hmm. And how, I mean, what do you, you beat them to death with a hammer? Man. Uh, it usually only takes once, then it's... Dude, you gotta have a lot of anger in you. Yes. And that means you're heartless. Did you used to kill small animals? No, I've killed a rat. 
Yeah. Dude, you're a serial killer. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And you get away with it, I guess, because they're hookers, and so far nobody... So this guy got away with this shit. Not get away with it, sorry. This is real. Howard Stern is really, like, talking like this. What? Is this Howard? Yeah. Hello? Hello? I didn't know this was Howard. Yeah, it's yeah, Howard. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Howard Stern's not Jewish. Yeah. No, I've never killed a kitten. Hmm. So how old were, were you when you killed your first woman? Sixteen. And uh, you must be a powerful kind of wow. guy. Wow, 16? Uh, I wasn't then. Right. And uh, when you killed your first one, did you go in there knowing you were going to kill her, or it just sort of happened? I I knew. I I had I really had it planned out. Hmm. You know, I wanted to do the whole sending clues. Right. Oh, yeah, are you in... to baffle people, but it turned out no one noticed for a long time. Right. Like, what, like you killed her on the side of the road? Uh... Her, that was the parking garage. Okay. And then what'd you do with the body? You dumped that somewhere? Um, yeah, actually. I think uh, she's probably one of the ones that they found. Yeah. But let me ask you, so you were sending clues that you were going to do this? No, I was... Uh, he was going to, like... Doing that. He was going to leave, like, a note for the newspapers and, you know... Uh, but you decided not to. He didn't want to be famous or draw attention to himself. But my problem no, is... That's, could... that's what I wanted to do, but... Oh, but you did, but no one noticed the clues. I, no, I never sent the clues. I never mm. left anything. You know, I wanted to have my own little signature. Right. I wanted the thumb paint oh, it's, with uh, their thumbs. Oh, really? What do you want to do? Thumb paint with their thumbs. What thumb the paint fuck? what, though? I don't know. Oh, anything. It, it, it so was in a comic book dude. a couple of years ago. It just seemed like a good idea. Like you take the girl you killed, you, you dip her thumbs in paint, and then you do like a thumb painting? Yes. On a what piece of paper? Yeah. Hmm. Now, when you after you kill somebody, do you play with the body? Um, actually, the closest I've ever done to that is I always make sure I pay them and I make sure they keep their money. Oh, really? What the when they're still alive, but, uh, with one of them, I did put the money in a compromising place. I see. But that was, this one, you know, it, it had a penis. Hey, yo. Oh, oh really? It was a guy. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know at first. So do you, do you ever get, do you, do you think the reason you're so angry is because you were abused or something? No, I wasn't abused, Howard. Hmm. Where's your family? You got a wife? I mean, you got a mom, a dad, a wife, children, you got any of that? I've got a couple of kids, but um, I... No wife? not married to the mother. Mm -hmm. You're a white guy? Uh, yeah, Howard, that's pretty funny because the only suspect they had when they started finding the bodies was a black police officer. Oh. <laughs> Bro. Uh, Turns out one of them uh, was associated with them. Oh, really? Uh, are you on drugs? Uh, I've done acid a few times. Bro, what is this shit? So, so, not, but nothing heavy. So after you killed, after you killed the first 60-year-old, like, uh, you, you finish, you, you finish... No, I was 16. Oh, that's right, I'm sorry. She was. All right, so you finish with your, uh, sexual gratification, and then you... Not always, no. Not always. They're kind of, like, entertaining you, yeah. You don't even want to get laid sometimes. No, I just... You just want to kill. Uh, I'm just bored. Right. But does the killing sexually satisfy you in some way? I can't believe Ed McMahon's not uh, laughing. I've, 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 I've eaten off thinking about it later. Yeah. What are you saying? That's, that's he's, he's pleasured himself thinking about it later. Oh, he has. Okay. Now, how far apart that are these murders? Like, you murder, and then, like, you feel satisfied for that's a while? That's you guys? Um, I don't even understand why I do it, Howard. I don't know if, if I ever get any satisfaction. Hmm. But um, how, how the often... The together anywhere was uh, the same night. Really? Sure. You killed two people in the same night? Yeah, but I went to Mississippi for the second one. Hmm. Hmm. So there's no pattern to how many weeks or days Bro. between murders? No. Are these mostly white chicks or black chicks? Uh, a fair, fair number of them have been black. The uh, transvestite was black. Do you think there's some racial motivation here? No, Howard. They were just, uh, let's just say, a Jimmy Swagger town. Bro. Mm -hmm. Jimmy Swagger town. I don't know what that means. Me neither, but... Oh, that's... that's pretty much the area around here where the prostitutes all hang out. Oh. I see. 
And it's just whoever comes up to you. You don't pick a certain type. I don't even approach them. I wait for them to approach me, Robin. And so do you that's ever like them asking for it? Do you ever look up, into their cat. eyes and go, you know, gee, these these people were just children at one point, and maybe they just had a tough life. And I've let a couple go. You have. Like what happened? You're in the middle of killing them, and then they, and then they. What do they say? Why would you let one go uh, and kill the other? There was this one. Go ahead. I think she was probably really new to it. Yeah. I, there was just something about her. Maybe she reminded me of my fiance, but right. You somehow more, relate more, more of an innocent quality. I just you somehow felt bad for her. Yeah. Hmm. You so okay. So you killed your first woman. When was the last time you killed? It, it's been a few months. Right. And actually, it's it, it's been going on a year. Hmm. So, what do you think you're going to do? Do you think you're going to kill yourself? Do you think that uh, you think are you going to kill again? Can you oh, stop no, this? I killed myself. I missed the next Batman movie. Right, bro. You don't want to do that. No. No, but in all seriousness, I mean, do you think that uh, you can control this? Do you I think you think can stop? I, I think I have been. Oh, you have been for the yeah, last couple of months. A year, he hasn't killed. Oh, a year. Yeah. Almost. So, why do you think you stopped killing all of a sudden? I really don't know, Howard. I just... Part of it had to do with my car broke down. Oh, oh. no transportation. Oh, yeah. mm. Seriously? That's the reason? Well, that was the reason for a month. But after that, I guess it was all self-control. Wow. Huh. But so you, you don't want to do this anymore? No, he wants to do it, but he's controlling himself. Like, huh. you want to kill women, right? Sure. Yeah. And what? do you like... Do you enjoy seeing them struggle as you kill them? Uh, actually, none of them really struggle. Hmm. Do you hit them from behind, or do they see it coming? Uh, I can't get inside their minds, but let's just say I hit them. But, I mean, are you facing them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, so you can see their face and everything when you do it. Yeah, yeah. The, the worst I've ever gotten was um, one tried to grab my neck. I've never gotten any of the claw marks or anything that are uh, dead giveaways. Well, you must be very powerful. I wouldn't call myself powerful. Maybe uh, intimidating. Why did you use a hammer? You think you... Uh, because it was in a book I read. Oh. Wow, well, everything comes from... Cartoons. Else. And, yeah. When's the last time you got laid? Uh, last week, Howard. Oh, yeah, so you didn't kill that girl? No. Because she wasn't a hooker? No. Right. It's only hookers, though. A lot of serial killers are only to hookers because they know, A, Easy. probably won't get caught, and B, they have some kind of anger toward hookers. So there's no way I'm going to talk you into giving yourself up or anything, right? No. I shouldn't even waste my time. I know I'm going to get calls after this and people are going to go, Howard, how come you didn't catch him? I'm have, not... has anybody ever been close to catching you? No. 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 Actually, someone, once when it was in the newspaper, someone joked to me, oh, I know it was you, but, uh, well, they were joking. Right. Yeah. Do you have wow. a lot of tattoos? Uh, I don't have any tattoos. I wouldn't do that to myself. Right. And do you get high before you do this? Uh, I've gotten pretty drunk before. Mm. Yeah. I'm the only guy you could, am I, am I the only guy you ever told about this? Yeah. Wow. I guess that's sort of an honor. I've told a couple of women, Howard, but... Uh, They're dead. Yeah. Do you tell them first and then you kill them? Uh, yeah. yeah. What do you say to them? Let me... Fun. All right, let's Every see. Every now and then you can play the running game if you're out in the middle of nowhere, and we got a lot in the middle of nowhere down here. Right. So... Wow. In other words, let's say you're with a woman, right? Fucking a hooker. disturbing. Yeah, Howard. And you say to her, uh, okay, honey, uh, you, you know, you just had sex and everything. What do you say to her to torment her? How do you break the news to her that she's going to die? I. It really depends on my uh, mood. Just give us an example. Well, if I wanted to, I could just say Baba Booey, but that would be pretty... Uh... No, come on, be serious. What do you say to him? I, I can say you're going to die. And then what do they do? I, I like to articulate a little more than that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I ask them uh, if they think it's dangerous doing what they're doing if they're worried about things and they'll laugh it off and that just pisses me off right and then you go ahead and you kill them yeah hmm all right well there you go <laughs> so disturbing weird quoted howard himself the day after the clay clay's call or air the fbi has contacted howard and asked for the copy of the recorded tape no further mentions of the call had been brought up by howard or his team since then there are only a handful of internet forums discussing who the car might be, but not really. A clay's identity remains on. Wow. That is fucking insane. All right, guys. W fucking stream, man. It was a great stream. 
All right. We'll, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Mañana.